you got to hurry up. The boss will be here pretty quick to get these. You mean the big boss is coming up here himself? Sure, this stuff is important. Chances of those circulars. Let's get them out of here fast. Find Kramer. I'll take care of Shorty. to this. Professor Nelson's formula for super aviation gasoline is a dangerous experiment and doomed to failure. It cannot do what it is claimed for. However, it will do what the fifth columnists want by holding up our plans for preparedness, by causing the destruction of valuable aeroplanes and the deaths of the men who have been trained to fly them. And listen to this. Among these pilots will be our sons. Are we going to permit this wholesale slaughter? But the Americanos will never believe lies like that. If these suckers ever get into the oil field, we're going to have plenty of trouble. They've appeared in lunch boxes the lockers, on the rigs, and automobiles. They've made a third job of it. Why, this is ridiculous. My formula is absolutely safe. There's not a word of truth in this thing. Unfortunately, we're not the ones who have to be convinced. It's the men. I'll publish an editorial denying there's any danger. That'll help. A test flight with Professor Nelson fuel in the plane would be more convincing. You're right, it would. What do you say, Nelson? Agreeable? Certainly. And to show you my faith in the formula, I'll have my own son fly the plane. That's a good idea. How soon can he get here? Ronnie's in Galveston. I'll phone him right away to leave tonight. That'll be all, gentlemen. Miss Crane. Long distance, please. Got a job for you, Lynch. Come in. I want you to get in touch with Hammond in Galveston. Have him notify you by a short wave the minute that young Ronnie Nelson leaves for border town. Get the kind of a car he's driving and the license number. Anything else? Yes. I don't want young Nelson to reach border town, understand? He won't. I'll take care of that.
him, all right. Seen this? Yes. Well, I suppose that means the test flight will have to be postponed. No, it'll go off according to schedule. Oh, well, who's going to pilot the plane? I am. Oh, no, King, you're, you're far too valuable a man for that. Now my representative is here, so we'll have to go ahead. Well, the men who put out all that propaganda will do everything they can to stop the flight. We're taking every precaution possible. My men are watching the plane, there'll be an armed guard on the gas truck. Hope everything goes all right. So do I. I've got to get a guard for that gas truck. See you later. So long. from here. Okay, get going. You know what this is? Yeah. Pulling this pin now. I hold the lever with my thumb. My thumb slips. This grenade will blow in just three seconds. Now, you gas up that plane and let me help you. But remember, I'll be watching you. If you try to make a break, a lot of people are going to get killed. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Go on. Remember, I'm watching you and helping you. Dave? 
Yes, sir. Fine. Let's go. King should be here in a few minutes. Stepping in this way, King. It's as much to my interest as yours to stop these wild rumors. Smuggle me on board. Angry? Wouldn't change things now if I were. That's how I had it figured. Professor Nelson! Professor Nelson, you gotta stop that plane! Why? It's gonna blow up! What? That guy that was with me wasn't a guard. He had a hand grenade in his pocket. That's the reason I couldn't say anything. He put a time bomb in that plane. We can't send that other plane up and signal him to bail out. That will not do it any good. That newspaper girl, Sally, she's in that plane too and she has no parachute. Sally? What's she doing in there? I have no time to tell you now, Wichita. Get me a rope ladder. I'll start the other plane. Go ahead. 